Ever feel like we've got it all figured out? We'll get ready to question everything. The universe is whispering secrets. And today, we're tuning in from the depths of space to our own backyard. We're counting down 10 of the most baffling discoveries that have scientists scratching their heads, even in 2025. Prepare to be amazed, because reality is far stranger than fiction. First up, the cosmic radio burst. Imagine this, a millisecond long blast of radio waves from billions of light years away, releasing more energy than our sun does in three days. Scientists first detected these fast radio bursts or FRBs back in 2007. Since then, we've found more, some even repeating from the same location. But what's causing them? Are they colliding neutron stars? The last gasp of a black hole? Or could they be something else entirely? Some of the signals even follow a strange, mathematical pattern, almost like a cosmic heartbeat. Despite all our advanced telescopes, the source of these incredibly powerful, fleeting signals remains one of astronomy's biggest puzzles. It's a message from across the universe, and we still don't know who or what is sending it. Now, let's dive deep into our own planet's mysteries with the bloop. In 1997, hydrophones in the Pacific Ocean picked up an ultra-low frequency sound, so powerful it was heard by sensors over 5,000 kilometers apart. They called it the bloop, its sound profile was unlike anything they'd ever recorded. It didn't match any known underwater animal, not even the blue whale, the largest creature on Earth. To make a sound that loud, the source would have to be colossal, far larger than any known marine animal. For years theories ranged from a secret military experiment to an undiscovered sea monster lurking in the abyss. While the official explanation now leans towards the cracking of a massive ice shelf in Antarctica, the profile of the sound doesn't perfectly match. The mystery of the bloop reminds us just how little we know about the dark, crushing depths of our own oceans. What else is hiding down there? From the deep sea, we travel back in time way back. Meet the 2.8 billion rolled metal spheres discovered by miners in pyrophyllite deposits in South Africa. These tiny, grooved spheres are an absolute enigma. They're composed of a mineral compound, and some are perfectly balanced so balanced that they can only spin on one axis. The truly mind-bending part. The rock layer they were found in is dated to be around 2.8 billion years old. That's a time when only single-celled organisms were thought to exist on Earth. So how did these intricate, seemingly manufactured objects get there? Were they natural geological formations, a one in a billion fluke of nature? Or are they evidence of something far more ancient and intelligent? The debate rages on, leaving these little spheres as some of the most puzzling artifacts ever unearthed. Let us blast off to our solar system's most stylish planet for our next mystery. Saturn's Hexagon Storm At Saturn's North Pole rages a storm unlike anything seen elsewhere. It's a six-sided jet stream, a perfect hexagon wider than two Earths. This isn't a temporary weather pattern. NASA's Voyager mission first saw it in the 1980s, and the Cassini spacecraft confirmed it's been churning for decades, if not centuries. Fluid dynamics can create polygons in labs, but nothing on this scale, or with this stability and geometric perfection, has ever been observed in nature. How does a swirling vortex of gas maintain such sharp, straight edges? Scientists have theories involving standing waves and atmospheric layers, but no computer model has fully replicated this bizarre, beautiful and utterly unnatural looking storm. It's a geometric masterpiece painted on a planetary canvas, and we don't know the artist. Next, we have a puzzle wrapped in an enigma, bound in vellum, the Voynich Manuscript. This 15th century codex is filled with illustrations of fantastical plants, strange astronomical charts, and bathing figures. But the real mystery is the text itself. It's written in an unknown script that has defied every attempt at decryption for over a century. The world's best cryptographers from World War II codebreakers to modern AI algorithms have been stumped. The language doesn't follow the patterns of any known tongue. Is it an elaborate, meaningless hoax? A lost language? An encrypted text hiding alchemical secrets? or a guide to a world that never existed. The manuscript sits in Yale University's library, its pages holding a secret that it has refused to give up for over 600 years, a silent testament to a knowledge that might be lost forever. Back on Earth, we find a mystery that moves at a glacial pace, literally welcome to Death Valley, home of the Sailing Stones, in a remote dry lake bed called Racetrack Playa. Large rocks, some weighing hundreds of pounds, appear to move on their own, leaving long tracks in the cracked mud behind them. For decades, no one had ever seen them move. Theories ranged from high winds and magnetic fields to outright trickery. In 2014, scientists finally caught them in the act. The rare combination of a thin layer of ice, melting in the sun, and a gentle breeze was enough to push the rocks across the slippery mud. Mystery solved, right? Not entirely. While we now know the how, many older, more complex tracks don't fit this model perfectly. The exact conditions required are so specific, it's a wonder it happens at all. The sailing stones are a reminder that sometimes the simplest looking mysteries have the most complex and elegant solutions. Can you hear that? 
For some residents of Taos, New Mexico, a persistent, low-frequency hum is an inescapable part of life. This is the Taos hum. It's described as a droning or buzzing sound, audible only to a small percentage of the population and undetectable by most microphones. Those who hear it find it deeply unsettling, causing headaches and sleepless nights. Extensive investigations have been conducted, ruling out common sources like industrial equipment, power lines, and internal ear noises. Similar hums have been reported in other parts of the world, from Bristol, England, to Windsor, Canada. Is it a unique form of tinnitus, a byproduct of low-frequency radio waves, or some unknown geological phenomenon? For the people who hear it, the Taos hum is a very real and maddening mystery, a sound that no one can seem to locate or explain. Now, let's head to the Bolivian highlands for a shocking discovery. The Bolivia Lightning Stones. In the remote mountains near a small village, a peculiar phenomenon occurs. Certain ancient stone structures, believed to be pre-Incan, seem to attract an unusually high number of lightning strikes, especially during thunderstorms. But what's even stranger is that local legends say these stones glow with an eerie light just before a storm rolls in. Scientists who have studied the site are puzzled. The stones themselves don't have unusually high metallic content. Some speculate that the specific mineral composition in the area's unique atmospheric conditions could create a kind of natural capacitor, storing and then discharging electrical energy. But the glowing that's harder to explain. Could piezoelectric properties be at play? For now, these stones remain a beacon of mystery, a natural lightning rod with a seemingly supernatural warning system. From a storm on Earth to the coldest place we know. And no, it's not on any planet. It's the Boomerang Nebula, the universe's coldest spot. Located 5,000 light years away, this young nebula has a temperature of just 1 degree Kelvin. That's minus 272 degrees Celsius. Colder than the background microwave radiation left over from the Big Bang. In essence, it's colder than empty space itself. How is this possible? The nebula is expanding rapidly from a dying central star. This rapid expansion of gas acts like a cosmic refrigerator, causing it to cool down dramatically. But here's the catch. It's cooling down faster and has become colder than our current models of physics say is possible. It's breaking the rules. The Boomerang Nebula forces us to reconsider what we know about the final stages of a star, s life and the fundamental laws of thermodynamics on a cosmic scale. Finally, our last mystery takes us to a serene lake in Sweden, which is doing something very strange. Observers at a particular Swedish lake have reported seeing unusual wave patterns form on its surface, even on perfectly calm days with no wind. These aren't random ripples. They appear to form organized, almost binary-like patterns, sequences of crests and troughs that look eerily like digital code. Local scientists have dubbed them lake computer waves. They've ruled out boats, underwater springs, and seismic activity. One fringe theory suggests that the unique shape of the lake bed, combined with subtle temperature gradients in the water, could be creating complex standing waves. But the regularity and code-like appearance of the patterns are what's truly baffling. It's almost as if the lake itself is performing a calculation. What is it trying to say? From the edge of the universe to a quiet lake, these mysteries prove one thing. The world is full of wonder, and the more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. Science is a journey, not a destination. What do you think is the explanation for these phenomena? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, be sure to subscribe for more adventures.